Adrian, who's the number one pound for pound fighter in the world right now? Uh, right now, <laughs> being honest, uh, Terrence. I would say Terrence Crawford. Uh, for me, will be Terrence Crawford. Uh, if we if we speaking specifically boxing, Terrence Crawford for me. But if we speaking who that nigga in boxing is, who that guy is, the number one guy. Javante Davis. Why? I mean, you know, um, when you when you go to a tank fight, it's just it's not it's not a, just a fight. It's a it's an event, and the whole world comes to see him. And you know, you got a lot of people that want to see him lose. You got a lot of people that want to see him win. And you know, he got, he got the world out right now. And how proud are you to see Tank? Because you met him at 15 years old. Yeah. Just a kid from Baltimore, 14. and now being the face of boxing. 14. 14. To yeah. The face of boxing. Yeah, I, I told him that when I first seen him, man. You know, uh, he always had the talent. Uh, you know, we, we talk and talk all the time. And even now, you know, uh, he still, you know why I respect him the most though? Because I know like a lot of people would have took that position that he got now and, and they probably would have been acting different, but I respect him the most because he still look at me as big bro. No matter, no matter about the money, no matter about the name, fame, he still, he still look at me and come around me when he, even when he come around me, he still, that's big bro, uh, that's big bro. So, you know, that's what I respect about him and, uh, you know, uh, love him to death. Is it tough for the trainer just climbing right here or, or, or the climbing like in North or something like that? Man, you can put me anywhere, I'm gonna be good. You said you want to start your own hub. People want to come here. You want to start that somewhere else. Where, yeah. where would that be? I mean, because you didn't fought all over the country. Yeah. Where would that be? For Saudi. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure y'all get him that. <laughs> <laughs> Has there been any communication with His Excellency? I mean, obviously, uh, he's doing things not just out there, but now he's doing things here in America as well. Have you guys spoke at all? Uh, my fight is uh, next week, June 7th. <laughs> At the hard rock. That's all I'm worried about right now. Adrian, why do you say he's the most talented artist? Ah, uh, man, you mean? Catalog speak for itself. Catalog speak for itself. He's <laughs> versatile. Uh, he can do whatever, man. He's amazing, man. They won. You know what? Uh, the they got to give you to go out there and stop. Man, my next fight is June 7th. <laughs> 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 yeah. You think those um, puppet tactics that Blair is bringing is just kind of just. He's trying to play the mind games with the guy who actually does mind games throughout boxing and everyone. Man, that puppet shit ain't about nothing. Can't pull no strings with me. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you think he's gonna stop him? Do you plan on stopping him? I mean, if the if the knockout presents itself, I'm definitely taking it. But um, I will be sharp and um, I'm definitely ready. For sure. You know, you are. Uh, the condition is so far right now. I see abs looking good. <laughs> Uh, nah, I feel good, man. I, I'm in great shape, and um, June seventh, man, I'm, I'm definitely gonna put on the show. For sure. You mentioned um, your relationship with Tank and the loyalty that you guys have for each other. How hard is it to have genuine loyalty in boxing? Because it seems like it doesn't really. Exist. I mean, you you got you got some guys who who just cool because they met through boxing. Then you got guys. Who's really like grew up with each other and, 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 and formed a relationship that's unbreakable, and, and that's something that me and Tank Tank can form. I mean, it, it's bigger and bigger than boxing. You know, obviously you're gonna have your performance. Is there anything that you can hint on what Tank's performance might be as as well against Frank? You know, Frank says that he might be if Tank acts up, he's gonna go for the knockout. Is essentially what he said. Is that a crazy idea just to even mention that? Man. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Listen, bro. Listen, man. Um, Frank, Frank, Frank know what, what the fuck he in, in for. No, no. I got a lot of respect for Tank, bro. I mean, for, for Frank. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he, I ain't, I ain't trying to talk about that, bro. I fight June 7th. <laughs> yep. And after that, and after that, little bro, go, go, go take care of his business like he always does. Is your first cap with uh, Kenny and Calvin and everybody? Mm -hmm. How's that? Uh, great, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, th 
this isn't the first time we've been around each other and um they they greeted me with uh open arms and uh you know shit I, when don't get me wrong i'm adrian browner but when i come to the gym you know I, i'm a boxer and i listen to my trainers so you know uh whatever they say in this motherfucker that's what i'm doing how many more years do you see yourself boxing you know just um just in general, do you see a couple more or when you win a world title? I don't know, man. We, what type of boxing you talk? Well, I mean, I guess this professional exhibition. So, I mean, whatever, uh, just in general. I'm talking about what type of boxing you talk about. <laughs> <laughs> that's just forever. You do the wrong thing, that's forever. <laughs> that's fair. Maybe, how do you see boxing change the community? Do you see young kids start to box? How, how does it um, change? Boxing, boxing definitely changed my life. And I could, I could tell anybody that come from where I come from, poverty and, and you know what I mean, you know, just going to the gym, you know, staying out the streets and boxing was everything for me. And, you know, uh, if I see a kid now, you know, I tell him, keep your ass in the gym. You know, yeah, of course you want to get the A's and B's, but school ain't for everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And this is one sport where you, know I mean? you ain't got to go to school to be a world champion. After you finish, after you finish boxing, man, do you think you will ever uh, train one of these young up and coming lions, man? It'll probably be one of my sons, man. Even though I don't want none of my kids to box, I know one. I know one might still be. Hey, uh, and did you think the state of Ohio boxing? Oh no, we we create monsters, man. We got monsters, man. <laughs> and, uh, uh, shout out, shout out, Bunny. He on his way back, and you know, uh, yeah, it's a bunch of us here, man. It's a bunch of us, for sure. What do you think about Abdullah Mason? Because he's from Ohio. He's, he's a great like, talent. Mm -hmm. He's a great talent, man. Uh, I've been watching that kid. Uh, he's a great. He always been good though. But all, of, but all of them are, are pretty good. Though. But he's good. You got to see all five of them throughout. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but Abdullah, he's, he's good. Okay. For sure. And then, uh, lastly, just before you know, we close out the scrum and things like that. Do you have any last message to tell the fans out there? You know, be tuning in. I will be champion again. I'm still me. You know, uh, y'all ain't gonna get nothing different, man. Same shit, different toys, y'all. Love y'all. Support me, I fight for y'all. Awesome. Appreciate it. Love, love, love.